Hey there, welcome back to the Wedding Blueprint Podcast. It's your friend, Robert Starkey from Havasu Wedding Entertainment, ready to chat about all things wedding and music. You know I love to share insider tips, advice, and all those little secrets that help make your big day truly special. No matter where you are in your wedding planning journey, I'm here with you every step of the way. So sit back, get comfy, and let's get started. This is The Wedding Blueprint. Welcome to our first exciting episode of The Wedding Blueprint Podcast. In this episode, titled How to Interview Your Prospective Wedding DJ, we're going to guide you through one of the most significant decisions for your big day, choosing the right wedding DJ. Choosing the wedding DJ goes beyond just selecting someone who can play music. They set the tone, manage the mood, and can make or break your reception. But how can you ensure that you're picking the right one? What questions should you ask to ensure they're professional, reliable, and in tune with your style? This episode guides you through the top 10 crucial questions to ask your prospective wedding DJ, covering a wide range of topics. We'll delve into the importance of a business license, the necessity of a business insurance, and the reinsurance of a solid contract. We'll also explore the origins of music library, importance of backup equipment, and the DJ's experience in the industry. Further, we'll be discussing the different styles of music they're comfortable with and how this plays into your wedding theme. We'll also discuss the, how the DJ gauges and reads the audience to keep the dance floor full and lively. But it doesn't just stop at music. A great wedding DJ often offers more. In this episode, we'll also explore the potential added services they might provide. Lastly, but not least, we'll talk about references. They're the key to providing a real-world review of your DJ's performance and reliability. So join us on this journey to ensure the rhythm of your big day matches the beat of your hearts. Listen in and take away insightful tips that could save you from unforeseen pitfalls and elevate your wedding to unforgettable heights. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. Question number one, do you have a business license with the city? Many DJs don't realize that they have to have a business license with the city that they operate in. Without this, their business may get shut down and they may get fined for doing illegal activities. Havasu Wedding Entertainment is not only licensed with Lake Havasu City, but with the state of Arizona. We are an LLC, which means we're a limited liability corporation. So question number one you need to be asking is, do you have a business license? Number two, do you have DJ insurance? Most companies offer insurance to go with them at their event. Wedding DJs should have commercial general liability and personal injury insurance of at least $1 million or more. At Havasu Wedding Entertainment, we're insured through RV Nucio and Associates with a $2 million policy. This protects you and your guests against any damages, thefts, anything that might happen at your wedding. We got you covered for your big day. So that's question number two. Do you have DJ insurance? Question number three. Do you have a contract? A contract with a DJ is very important to ensure that both of you are on the same page. It protects both parties and specifies what is expected from each party. The contract usually includes duties or responsibilities, payment, payment schedule, additional fees such as overtime or travel, cancellation, and penalties. Clients booking with Havasu Wedding Entertainment will have this referred to as what's known as a reservation agreement. The reservation agreement more protects our clients than it does us. All it does for us is guarantees that we'll have a 10 by 10 area to set up in, that we'll have ample power, and that nobody's going to touch our stuff. Aside from that, it's only there to protect you. So question number three, do you have a contract? Question number four, where do you get your music from? Ask your prospective DJ where they get their music from. Unfortunately, services like iTunes, Spotify, etc. license music purchased and downloaded for your personal listening enjoyment. It is illegal to play in public. Playing from these services publicly violates the license and the copyright laws because the act is now considered a public performance. DJs have access to services with licensed music for commercial use. Havasu Wedding Entertainment, for example, purchases licensed music to avoid copyright infringement from reputable resources like iDJPool. 
digital DJ pool, select mix, and more. So question number four, where do you get your music from? Question number five, do you have backup equipment? A solid backup plan is the only way to avoid being stuck in a situation that can ruin your wedding day. Having backup microphones, speakers, and other equipment allows DJs to continue performing even when something has failed during a performance. Obviously, Whiting Entertainment carries enough equipment to cover every need at your event. This not only helps reduce problems, but shows that we care about providing the best service possible. So question number five, do you have backup equipment? Question number six, what style of music do you play? Your wedding DJ should be experienced in all styles of music and entertainment that you'll want for your wedding. Brides and grooms have all sets of different music tastes. Whether they love rock, rap, or country, we've got the songs for them. We make it our duty to collect the top hits from every genre, so you can be sure that your guests will enjoy themselves on the dance floor with a variety of good tunes. So question number six, what style of music do you play? Question number seven, how much experience do you have? Experience matters because it shows how capable of DJ is in leading an event without any issues or mistakes occurring throughout the night. DJing a birthday party is not the same level of intricacy as DJing a wedding. I personally started DJing back in 1998. I've been featured in DJ magazines and even been a guest presenter on stage at the DJ conferences. So question number seven, how much experience do you have? Question number eight, how do you, as a DJ, read the audience? The characteristics of a good wedding DJ are more than just being able to determine what song should be played next. A good wedding DJ will read the audience and have a sense of how to pick the songs that people want to hear. As an example of this, we'll be watching during the cocktail hour to see what style of music has guests bobbing their heads, tapping their toes, and drumming to the music. We know then that we can play this style of music later in the evening to pack the dance floor. So question number eight was, how do you, as a DJ, read the audience? Question number nine, do you do more than just play music? Now, I'm not saying you should be afraid of someone that DJs and only does music, but it's crucial to have someone who can control the crowd during dinner and do all the introductions for your wedding. Have Sue Entertainment is a two-man team which allows me to be coordinating with your vendors behind the scenes and in front of your guests as your MC, while the DJ is behind me playing just the right song at just the right time. Additionally, I'll get out there and help lead group dances such as a cha-cha slide, cupid shuffle, electric slide, and so much more. So question number nine, do you do more than just play music? The final question is, do you have references? Now let me start off by saying I think it's tacky to be showing up at some DJ's event. I would invite somebody to your wedding and that's why I will never invite somebody to another wedding. At Havasu Wedding Entertainment, we strive for an unforgettable experience by providing top-notch service and putting together a show-stopping event package tailored specifically around what you need from start to finish. Want proof? Just take a peek at some of our past clients' testimonials on Google and Facebook. Just search Havasu Wedding DJ. So that's question number 10. Do you have references? Check out our website, The Wedding Blueprint Podcast, where you'll see the show notes and these questions available for download. And this wraps up another episode of The Wedding Blueprint. I hope you're walking away with some fresh ideas and insight for your big day. To revisit any of my podcasts or to drop me a line with your burning questions, head over to theweddingblueprintpodcast.com. And while you're there, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more wedding wisdom, and share the love with your friends who are also on their wedding planning journey. Remember, from first dance to last call, I've got your wedding covered. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time, keep the love and the music going. <laughs>